What's up you guys? Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy Monday. Today's video is going to be all about what my current skincare is, consists of. We're going to apply it together. So sit down and let's get ready for our day. <laughs> so here is how my skin is currently doing. There is absolutely no filter on this, of course. Although now that I say that, I am going to add this light from Amazon, by the way, if you were wondering. <laughs> so there is my skin with the light added to it, as you can see. I break out significantly between my eyebrows, a little bit through here. And a lot of that is because I just worked the last three nights. So I've been slacking on my skincare and dehydrated. And I'm also that time of the month currently. Why am I filming this video again? <laughs> because I need to do my skincare. So first product up, this is the Elemis Soothing Apricot Toner. Okay, we know her, we love her. We spray her on my face and I use cotton rounds. I've tried to get out of the cotton round era, but alas, here we are. You're also not necessarily supposed to use toner on the eye area specifically, but I do kind of just cleanse the area like that. So there's your, the light died. Can you darn believe that is what it is? Okay, so I was just saying that there is my nasty little cotton round if you were wondering how disgusting my face is. And as you can see, I've used so much of that product and it's lasted forever and I do really enjoy it. All right, so the second product that I use is the viral snail mutant that everyone knows. Um, I got mine off of Amazon. It's super cheap and affordable. It's just an essence, so I use it second in my skincare. And it's by the brand Kos RX. So because I'm blabbing on, I'm going to dampen my face with this. And then I use about three pumps of that. And I put it on to my dampened skin. And it does take a while. And you're technically supposed to pat it in. Who has the time for that? I don't. <laughs> just to be honest. I bought this product when it was super popular and then I couldn't decide if it was actually helping my skin or not but I was also using new skincare then at that time and this one did not make the cut <laughs> and so I took some time off of it and then everybody was still posting about it so I decided to give it a second chance and I have been enjoying it. It does add a beautiful glassy look to the skin. And with all of my skincare products for the most part. I take them down the neck and across the front of the chest as well. The decollete, if you may. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more on the cheek and eye-ish, not necessarily the under eye, but around that region. And then I'm gonna go in with my gua sha. Gua sha? <laughs> this one is just, uh, I guess, fake pink quartz or something like that. I got mine from Amazon and I start here on the cheekbone and I go about 15 times and I kind of pull mine not straight 90 degree angle to the face but more flush with the skin and it does get red I do have kind of sensitive skin oh that's a great thing to add I have sensitive combination to dry skin so this is what has worked for me and then following that region I go from the center of the chin Taking that up above the jaw and do the same thing about 15 to 20 times here. And then I start to take it on up. All right, and after around 15 to 20 times of that, I take the curved side and I massage my lymphatic system, truthfully, where the lymph nodes are, which is through the front of, in front of the ear behind the ear and then down the neck. And this just helps remove fluid from the face. And I just do that for a few times. You can even take that all the way down. There are more lymph nodes through here. You can look up on Google a lymph node chart and it'll show you a lot of where your lymph nodes are. I feel like that side looks a lot more depuffed compared to this side. What do you guys think? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. My only advice that I would add in here is that do not do this on dry skin. You want to have some moisture barrier between you and the gua sha because it should glide over the skin and not be tugging at your skin. That's no good for your skin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after we gua sha our faces, we are going to apply another serum. This is the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% by the ordinary. Mine is almost all gone. I've heard friends complaining about how this area of this product can get super crusty. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. Clean it. You can clean 
this glass book bottle on the outside and you should. I will be repurchasing that serum. I love her. And I just kind of massage my face some more with my knuckles at this point, rubbing that nice in my den. I really like to lift this area where the temples meet the eye. And sometimes I will gua sha my forehead as well. If I had more of this product, I would run it down my neck as well, but we're running low as you guys saw. On the forehead, I'm all about going up and my masters get pretty worn out. So I like to massage them as well. <laughs> so next I'm going to use this Gentle Retinol Cream by Good Molecules. For the most part, Good Molecules has a pretty solid ingredient list. I had this in a spare one even on deck. So it's the second retinol product that I've introduced to my skincare. Sadly, I am over the age of 24. <laughs> so I am going to use this product now. And then I'm going to go in with a moisturizer. I do use this one all over the chest and neck as well. I just apply it with my hands that are clean, by the way. You should clean your hands before you touch your skin with them. But this is a super gentle retinol. It does not make my skin peel or anything like that. It's not, not pharmaceutical grade. My mom used it in her now 50s as a very intense, very high strength retinol that does in fact make her skin turn over within three days. But I have noticed a difference since I implemented this. I think it is just slowly making my skin's surface cells regenerate and renew quicker than their typical seven day integumentary lifestyle. <laughs> lifestyle. It's leaving me more glowy. So what more could you ask for? <laughs> so after this product, I'm gonna go in with my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This has been my go-to moisturizer since I graduated high school for seven or eight years now, you know what I mean? Do people love Clinique products? They are a hit and a miss for some people and some skin types, but it's worked for me and it's a daytime moisturizer, hence it's in a pump. That's a good rule of thumb. If it's in a pump, it's lighter as to if it's in a, this is a lip mask, but if it's in a jar, it's a lot thicker of a cream and likely a nighttime cream rather than a pumping lightweight cream. So this is just a lightweight and I do my retinol obviously before the moisturizer. And I do like to moisturize in between my eyebrow hairs. Like I really get it in my eyebrows just because like I've been saying I break out there and so it needs the moisture. And I do break out because I'm too dry. So some days or nights I will choose not to use this good molecules um, gentle retinol cream and I will moisturize, just skip that step entirely, moisturize. And then I would go in with this Luna Sunday Riley oil. However, this, it's the sleeping night oil. This has um, retinol and blue tansy as its primary ingredients. I'm not gonna mix two retinols together. That's too much retinol for me and where I'm at currently. And it's just terrifying because I don't wanna freak my skin out like that, you know? It would be a little harsh to retinols, that's what I'm saying. And I've had um, clients that have, I've put Botox on and filler on before, and I should say, um, and I've sold them retinols, pharmaceutical grade, like pretty gentle retinols, nonetheless, not my mom's style. And then they've gone home and they've used like a Murad exfoliant or a cleanser that happens to have retinol in it, but isn't a primary. This is just not necessarily brand as a retinol. It just says it very small and fine print there. So do watch that. Don't be mixing retinols. That's your skin will be mad at you. Moving right along, I'm now going to use this Clinique All About Eyes. Do you see how it's in a pot? It's a lot thicker. That's an eye cream. I just dip my little fingers in there. I cannot be Miss Sanitaire all the time. And I go right on in. I believe this is honestly a sample size. I change up my eye creams pretty regularly. I haven't found one that I'm obsessed with yet. However, there have been studies that do say that the skin around your eyes is genuinely a different skin type than the skin on the rest of your face and body. So I do recommend an eye cream, although some people I know don't whatsoever. As with any of my skincare recommendations, do your own research, of course. Try them out if it interests you. I'm not saying to go buy them, but if there's a gap in your skincare, 
maybe try one of these products because they're what I would recommend or suggest to my friends. Two more steps. Our next step, the infamous Grande Lash. So many people have been hating on this product lately, rightfully so. I do one stripe over top of the eyelashes and I go in with a layer beneath as well. It's made some people's eyes red and have a constant cast of redness around their eyes. And I guess styes, the top and bottom, by the way, I don't know. I think it's... Look into the Grande Lash controversy and possibly lawsuit. <laughs> um, because it doesn't bother my eyes. Ah, I just poured it out. I just poured Grande Lash out. Do you know? It's an expensive product. Well, I'm going to put it in my eyebrow too, just because I don't want to waste it. It does work for me. I've noticed a huge difference in my eyelashes. I didn't know it was that watery. Be aware, it's super watery. It'll pour out of the tube. My last step are lips to moisturize the lips. Oh, by the way, look at my Valentine's Day nails. I did it myself. I added little bows to the pinkies. How cute. Anyways, I'm still on my Laneige um, lip moisturizer kick. I also do like this Summer Fridays lip balm. It's probably more moisturizing than this. This is not the most moisturizing product, I'll be honest with you, but it is a good self-care product that I enjoy implementing into my routine. And then honorable mention for the Kiehl's lip balm number one. It's gotten me through years time time and time again so so that is my skincare routine you guys there we are now nice and glowy and my skin will hopefully be soothed and calm down shortly so let me know what products you will have tried or enjoy let me know which products from your own skincare that you think i should try out i would love to know don't forget to subscribe and like the video bye you guys happy monday